Use this video to learn how to analyze forest change in an area of interest. First, enter the GFW interactive map and turn on the forest change data layer you wish to analyze. Here, we'll use the default tree cover loss and gain. Next, define the time period for your analysis by dragging the handles of the timeline or by selecting a time interval. For this example, we'll analyze tree cover loss and gain occurring between 2005 and 2014. Once you've selected your data and time period, click the analysis icon on the right-hand side of the map and choose the type of analysis you want to conduct. You can draw a shape on the map, choose a country or subnational jurisdiction, or choose shapes within another data layer, like protected areas. I'll walk you through each. First, we'll try drawing a shape. Select Start Drawing and click with your mouse to draw a shape in the map. Once complete and you can draw any shape you like, click Analyze in the right-hand window and the results will appear. Next, we can try analyzing a country or subnational jurisdiction. Simply select your area of interest and click Analyze. Finally, we can use shapes within another data layer to analyze forest change. As the instructions say here, first turn on a data layer that enables analysis, such as those under the Forest Use tab. Next, click on the particular area you want to analyze and an info window will appear. Click Analyze. Once you've completed this type of analysis, you can still adjust the time period or change the type of data you're analyzing. Your results will update immediately based on your selection. You can then download the raw forest change data on the Open Data Portal or discard your analysis. You now know how to analyze forest change data on GFW. To learn more, click through the tabs below or watch another tutorial video.